Begin with fresh cold milk. Fill the milk jug to just below the spout position. Position the steam wand over the drip tray and turn the dial to steam. This will purge out any water that's condensed. Wait until the steam is at full strength, then turn the dial to standby to pause. Now, within eight seconds, insert the steam wand into the jug. You're looking for one to two centimeters below the surface of the milk. Move the dial to the steam position and keep the tip of the steam wand just under the surface of the milk until the milk is spinning clockwise, producing a whirlpool effect. With the milk spinning, slowly lower the jug to keep the steam tip just underneath the surface of the milk. This will introduce air into the milk. You may have to gently break the surface of the milk with the tip to get the milk spinning fast enough. Keep the tip at or slightly below the surface while continuing to maintain the whirlpool. Texture the milk until sufficient volume is obtained. The milk is at the correct temperature, 60 to 65 degrees Celsius, when the jug is hot to touch. Once the desired temperature is reached, move the steam dial to the vertical position before taking the wand tip out of the milk. Set the jug to one side. Wipe the wand and tip with a damp cloth. Position the steam tip above the drip tray and turn the steam dial to purge any residual milk for a few seconds before returning it back to the vertical position. Tap the jug on the bench to collapse any bubbles. Now, you are ready to create latte art. Remember, different brands and types of milk and milk alternatives will texture differently. So you may need to adjust your texture levels accordingly.